Hey everybody, welcome to the screencast. We're going to be talking a little bit about tagging using ModX's really cool snippet called Tag Lister. And uh, I just wanted to show you a couple quick things. I have been working on a website where I've been trying to develop an archiving functionality for an author's uh, writings. We decided to do some, you know, categorizing it by publication and also by type of article or category. So when the user clicks on one of the tags on the right, Tag Lister kicks in, and working with a Get Resources tag snippet, it then will display the article for the user to click on and download. I thought it was kind of cool, and it looked really clean. Uh, I just wasn't happy. I really wanted for this to happen with an Ajax call. I thought it would be nicer from a usability perspective uh, to only have to reuse this center portion of the page. So I started playing around. And by modifying a couple of, of chunks and also our template a little bit, we're able to then change it so that instead of loading the whole page, we're only loading a section of the page, uh, which is cool for desktop and even better when you're dealing with mobile devices that uh, you want to just limit the amount of requests that uh, the device is making to the server. Okay, so basically what we're going to do together is look at the template in Coda just so that I can show you uh, the code and how it all works together so that you can look at the tag lister calls and also so that I can show you a little bit of JavaScript down at the bottom, a little bit of jQuery, which is what's going to make our Ajax call. Uh, we're also going to look at the standard tag lister uh, tag chunk and then I'm going to show you how to modify it to make it work super slick for the Ajax call. It's all really easy and fun. Okay so let's just dive right into the template. The first thing to show you is the tag lister call. You'll see it right about here and the way tag lister works is that it creates an unordered list and then in, in each of the list items it creates a link uh, and that link will have the letters of the link will be the tag, and it'll link to the standard tag. Um, we're going to modify that a little bit so that uh, it no longer, when the user clicks on that link, it no longer goes to that location, and uh, it's really easy to do. So this is the tag lister call right here. You'll notice that there are some TVs, and uh, this basically is pulling out of the uh, this is, is pulling the tags out of the document from that template variable. The template chunk is Ajax tags, which I'll show you in just a second. And the target is the page that, that the uh, results will output on, which is the same page that we're looking at. Um, and then you'll notice that I do that tag lister call twice on one page. Uh, this time it's uh, using a different template variable uh, so it's pulling from a different template variable inside each of the documents this has the same template though of Ajax tags so down at the bottom we've got our jQuery our JavaScript section and the way that it works is that when the user clicks on one of the tag links it will hide all of the results and then it will empty them and then we've got a cute little Ajax loader which will show and then this little variable is really cool load URL equals and then it takes your site URL and then it looks at the tag links title and it pulls its attribute of title and then this portfolio list which we've emptied up here loads the URL and then the Ajax loader is hidden and then the that list which we've just filled with results gets shown. Super cool. So then if we want to look at this again just to show you how it works because it's it's pretty simple I'll just reload the page here and um, so whenever the user clicks on the link it grabs the title from this link and then this list loads the URL that's taken from the title of the link that we've clicked on. 
pretty cool. So let's look at the the tags really quickly just to see how to modify them. Uh, you'll notice to to find the template file for tag lister took me a, a little bit to figure out, but along the top in Revolution, if you click on the files and then scroll down and you'll see core and then components and then if you select tag lister and elements and then if you click on chunks you'll see three different chunks and we want to be editing the tag chunk dot tpl or template and you'll see that it um, the old one says lee class equals you know the placeholder for class and then a href url and then it puts the tag inside we don't want it to go there um, because that what will happen then is that if the user clicks on the link it'll just go straight to that page instead we want our our, our template code to look like this um, this is an easier a better way of doing it. Um, you'll see that the the href is is just to a hash, which means that it's it's not going anywhere. And then we apply this, which is really important. And this makes it so that when the user clicks the link, nothing happens. So on click equals return false. And then the title now holds that URL value, which in the other tag is where the user is going you know we take the href value out of the old tag and we put it into the title for our new chunk which we've called ajax tags and then the language is still tag and the way that this works is that uh, this is the information that our jquery code is pulling to create the url that is going to be loaded inside of this portfolio list and uh, the portfolio list is just a little bit higher up the page um, that is lives right in this part of the page I also need to just tell you a little bit about what's happening on the actual page inside the template and you'll notice here that there is a get resources call and it's it's pulling from inside of a specific folder and it's also going to put the results inside this placeholder which lives inside the portfolio list. This is the unordered list that will get emptied when the user clicks on the link and it's also the list that will get populated by the new results. So that's it. It's pretty fast, pretty quick, pretty easy. Um, just thought you'd, you'd appreciate it. Just make one little change in the bottom. Include your jQuery code change some chunks and off to the races we go great i really appreciate your time have a great day guys